You're so smooth and so creamy, but I'm going to turn you into a deep fried delicacy. These foods help complete the carnival experience. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 classic carnival foods. Tell them about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? For this list, we're counting down our favorite foods, snacks, and desserts that are served at carnivals and fairs. I don't want to talk with my mouth open. State fair begins tonight at 5. Number 10. Deep fried candy bars and Twinkies. I know I shouldn't be eating any more of this, and yet I'm going to keep eating more of this. Carnivals and fairs prove that anything can be fried, and Twinkies and candy bars are no exception. According to this morning's sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. They're both prepared the same way. Take the item in question, dip it in batter, drop it in the oil, and fry away. The process is the same, but the outcome is different. With Twinkies, you get a crunchy outside with a sweet and soft inside. Oh, to be a Twinkie, to be America's favorite snack cake, but then it gets a little lonely at the top. With candy bars, well, it depends on whether you're using a Hershey bar, Snickers, or some other taste sensation. Whatever the choice, you end up with a melty, sweet treat. Snowballs? Yeah. Snowballs? Where's the f***ing Twinkies? Number 9. Churros. Churros! Churros! That's right! Yum yummy churros! Although nobody's quite sure where this star-shaped snack was first created, it's become a staple on fairgrounds near and far. Pipe. Snip. Special dough is prepared and put through a churrera, which is a syringe that gives the churro its star shape. And you'll notice that it's easy to twist this thing around and we're going to make small... Oh, I see. And it holds together so well. Doesn't it? Afterwards, it's fried until crunchy and sprinkled with sugar or cinnamon sugar. Some are even filled with a paste that adds a bit of flavor. Popular in places like Spain and France, as well as in North America, the best thing about churros is that they can be enjoyed on the go. Epic fiestas every day. With, With the, the whole Sanchez family. What and all, you can eat churros. <laughs> Number eight, donuts. Mm, forbidden donut. You can always buy donuts from your local bakery or coffee shop, but nothing beats the taste of a piping hot fresh donut from a carnival stand. We sell them by the, do by the dozen. You can get a dozen bag or you can get the three dozen bucket. And I highly suggest that because they, they're, they're so small and, and they pop in your mouth, they melt. Out of all the snacks on this list, donuts have the distinction as the one that can be made with the most variety. Everyone likes their donuts a different way, whether it's glazed, covered with sprinkles, or even filled with jelly. I like to serve them warm so all that sweet filling oozes out. The traditional donut shape is a classic, but it can also be twisted or otherwise molded into any new form you like. That's a good one there. That's a good pick. It's good. <laughs> it's great. I have a lot of them. Number seven, caramel apples. Hello, nice lady. You want a juicy, sweet caramel apple, maybe? They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so these may be the healthiest snack on this list. Ish. What is it about caramel that just... I don't know, there's something about it that's like, it makes me a very happy person. Of course, dipping that apple in caramel and putting it on a stick may affect its overall nutritional impact. I'm going to insert the apple into the warm caramel, moving it around like so, making sure that the apple's evenly covered. Although they can be enjoyed at any time of year, caramel apples are most popular during the autumn months, especially around Halloween. For the best caramel apples, use crispy varieties like Granny Smith or Fuji. And for those who don't like just plain caramel apples, you can always add nuts or crushed up cookies for a crunchy, sweet taste. Now this is a great time too that you can decorate the caramel apples if you wish. You can top them with some chopped peanuts or with some baker's semi-sweet or white chocolate melted, drizzle the chocolate on, or even some crushed Oreos. Number six, funnel cake. I'm gonna put you in the corner, turn your heat up higher, sprinkle sugar all over you. Fried dough appears yet again on this list in the form of the ever popular funnel cake. This favorite treat gets its name from its method of preparation. 
Using a funnel, batter is poured into oil in a circular motion so that it overlaps itself. So just go for it, right? Yes. Do I need to make a shake? Do I need to just pour it straight in? Is there? Well, you just make it on circles. Shake it. Normally served with powdered sugar, funnel cake can also be enhanced by the addition of chocolate, cinnamon, fruits, or pretty much anything else. Funnel cakes can be found not only at carnivals, but also at sporting events, theme parks, and even some resorts for a fatty fried snack wherever you are. Number five, popcorn. Here, try this. This is incredible popcorn, and I know popcorn. I'm the second best popcorn maker I know. All right, I'll take the bait. Who's the third best? I know, right? Popcorn is a snack that can be enjoyed in any situation, and there are many different varieties as well, including kettle corn and caramel corn. As soon as your popcorn's coated, you need to work quite quickly and just transfer all of that to that baking tray. Still, nothing beats the air popped classic. Out of all the foods on our list, this is probably the easiest one to make. Seriously, it's pretty much just pouring in the popcorn kernels and there you go. Even though some people prefer their popcorn plain, most would agree that it's better with a load of butter and a sprinkling of salt. We have a cup of unpopped popcorn kernels. We have three to four tablespoons of butter melted and some salt. You're gonna do that to taste. Number four, soft pretzels. So I'm just gonna have my soft pretzel. I'll get to work and I'm gonna be super productive. Look out for me. While you can always go out and buy a bag of pretzels, you gotta go to the carnival if you want the really good stuff. When you walk by and see it hanging in the stand, its alluring aroma is just calling your name. With that twisted knot and its toppings of either salt or sugar, it's pretty impossible to resist. Besides its signature knotted shape, there are plenty of other ways that the soft pretzel is served, including in long, thin rods. Add a dip of mustard for the taste and a bit of a messy snack but we're not judging. Go ahead and serve these up with either cheese sauce, which I absolutely love, or some mustard, whatever you like, or leave them plain. Number three, snow cones. Son, if you don't finish your cotton candy, you won't get your snow cone. Ah, heck. Like popcorn, snow cones are the kind of snack any amateur can make. All that's needed is a bit of ice and some fruit-flavored liquid. This is pretty good. What flavor is this? Guess. <laughs> Papaya? No. Guava? You're so close. Why well, give up? Mango caterpillar. <laughs> Simple but effective. Is there any better way to cool down on a scorching hot day? This is another treat that can be found outside the carnival, including at concerts or if you have an ice cream truck nearby on your own street. Today, snow cone stands offer a wide variety of flavors and combinations to suit just about any palate. Whether you call it a snow cone or shaved ice, there's no denying that this is one cool treat. Number two, corn dogs. It's a great corn dog. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they get the weenie into the corny exterior. <laughs> a question that's plagued mankind for centuries. The hot dog has always been a popular food at carnivals and sporting events, and there's no denying it's delicious. Just give me something crawling with parasites. <laughs> However, we've decided to go with its cousin, the corn dog, because they're practically synonymous with carnivals. Oh, they have corn dogs. We gotta get one before we go back. They're legendary. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. While hot dogs have always been easy to eat, corn dogs take that ease one step further by being placed onto a stick and fusing the bun with the dog. The whole eating thing is just easier. Even better, it's a breeze to dip it in any condiment of your choice. Plus, deep fried. Before we chow down on our top pick, finally, a monster we can sink our teeth into. Here are some honorable mentions. Glistening in the warm State Fair sun. Mm. Hey, yo, peanut boy, over here. May I have one chocolate ice cream cone, please? It was absolutely delicious. This is absolutely delicious. They are very addictive. People come back year after year wanting our turkey legs. The only reason I come to Disney World is to get the turkey legs. Number one, cotton candy. <laughs> no! No! I'll give you cavity. Containing almost nothing but sugar, with just a tiny smidge of food dye and flavoring, cotton candy is not only a favorite in the United States, but also a chosen snack all around the world. 
It's made by pouring liquid sugar into a machine, which spins the sugar around until it solidifies into delicate little strands of deliciousness. Plopped on top of a nearby paper cone, the result is sugary, easy to eat, and impossible to resist. No carnival or fair is complete without this sweet treat. Oh, that gigantic cotton candy! God damn it! How's the view from Sugar Heaven, bitch? Do you agree with our list? Well, this Twinkie thing, it ain't over yet. Which food do you pig out on at carnivals? Hmm, at least hot dogs haven't changed. For more delicious top tens published every day. Anyone want butter on that? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Anybody want a corn dog? See if they got any chocolate bananas.